Hi guys, Shelly here, so Shelly Quilts. So I have my new Bernina Hoop and Buddies hat hooping insert. I have just an inexpensive hat for the trial run. Um, I just picked it up at a local craft store. It's nothing wonderful. I've ordered some decent hats to use for after the fact. So I just wanted you to see how this works. So you take the oval hoop that comes with the machines and you set the inside to the side. And then now the new insert is this Bernina Hoop and Buddies hat insert. And I'm going to put it in. And the directions say that when you first put it in, that arrow is just a little bit that way, which I can tell it is. And as I tighten it, oops, as I tighten it, it will get it lined up. So sure enough, I can see it moving. This is hard to do on a flat surface. I think I'll pick it up so that we can all see that together. This is my... There, so now those arrows are lined up, okay? So then the next step is to take a um, paperback sticky stabilizer. You know, one of those with the paper on it. So I've cut a piece that will fit the back of the hat. So I'm going to pull the paper off and expose the sticky side and stick it over this opening. Oops, let me get a little straighter. Okay. So can you tell that I have, let me see if I can zoom that out again. So I've got that sticky stabilizer. Now I'll turn it over. And this is sticky. So I'm going to loosen up this bottom and that's where the hat band is going to stick in. Now you're supposed to pull this part away, the part that goes up across your head. So I'm going to pull that away and it says to tape or staple it down. So I had some tape here. I don't know that it's really very strong tape, but we'll try. So I'm just going to take a couple of pieces of tape and get it held down a little bit while I try to get it into the hoop. So that it's not up in that stitching area because you don't want to stitch through that. And so I'm going to turn that over now and you insert it into the hat holder. Okay, so I'm going to get my first screw down so that it's kind of held. And then I'm going to turn, let me pull the tag off this hat. I'm going to turn the hat inside out. So I've got that inside out. And I'm going to look up here at the line and try to kind of line up the center of the hat with that line and then push it down on the sticky. So I'm going to get it turned inside out and push that down on the sticky. It doesn't feel just 100% secure, but it's probably secure enough. So that is, it is what it is. So now we're going to go over to the machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so now here we are at the embroidery machine and I've got my design in and in fact if I go back to the edit you'll see that I've actually told the Bernina 880 that I'm using that buddies insert and so it knows where that design should live on the hoop so we will now put the hoop on. So here we go. Get it on here flat. And I'm going to hook it on. 
and we want to do some positioning so on the screen I'm able to tap where those needle positions are and look to see let's find the very center and it looks to me like I need to move my design over oops not down over a little bit so that that needle is on that center line so now that should be um, done correctly let me zoom way in and make sure I'm actually looking at the center line oh I wouldn't so let me touch the crosshair the very center crosshair down there there we go and now I'll zoom back out and we'll look over here and get that needle exactly and then I want to see where the bottom is gonna land there that's fine let me zoom out and the bottom over here that looks fine the top up there that looks fine okay so I am ready to stitch now the first color that's gonna stitch is white so I need to get my white thread on and of course I don't have that out I'll be right back okay so I have my white thread threaded now and the first thing that's going to stitch is a solid white background but I'm not confident that it's going to cover that red hat so I have a product from OESD called top cover and it comes in a package 20 sheets with black cream and white so I'm going to take this white top cover and let it stitch that first um, white over this and that way I'm sure that the red won't bleed through the background so here we go now the other thing is I was very careful to turn off that cool new tool called thread away and that thread away is um, where it would cut the thread and then move that stitch arm away and then come back so there's our top cover put on and then I'll pause the machine in a second when it's all stitched down and tear the excess of that away and what that's doing is making a white layer underneath um, so that it will make sure that the red did not bleed through the stitching so see this just easily tears away it's a very thin film so all I have to do is just reach up and remove that excess that I didn't want in the design I'm not going to worry about those little pieces that look like that and then we'll just start sewing again I'm going to speed this up and I'll come back when the next color is ready. Okay, so we're on the last stitch. It's doing its job and then I will show you how um, to get the hat out and how cool it looks. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I've got my logo for the Bernina Academy. Uh, Bernina Academies are awesome. Check with your Bernina dealer and see when they're having one or if they are. And so I'm loosening here and I'm going to pull the hat out. I guess I'll get the sticky stuff off. Oh look, it was a tearaway. I may just tear it out and I could patch that hole and use it again. Haha. -ha. That would be a good thing. So I'll just tear the design out. And then I'll be able to use that stabilizer again just by patching it. So let me loosen the brim and get it out. And look what we've got. That tape that was trying to hold the fabric out of the way 
came off. So there's the inside of the hat and the outside of the hat. I think it looks pretty cool. So the Bernina Hoop and Buddies, that's how you do it. This is Shelly with So Shelly Quilts.